Hello everybody, I'm Rosana Splendido and Susa lead the team that takes care of networking inside the SLEES department and I'm a former Neutron Core reviewer. So today we're gonna talk about the Neutron L2 agent. So as you might know we have different kind of nodes in OpenStack. We have the controller node that is where all the API are running, so Nova, Keystone and so on. Then we have the compute node that it's the node where the VMs are running and of course we have also Nova Compute and the Neutron L2 agent. Then we have the network node that it's the node where all the Neutron services are running. So the L2 agent as I said runs on the compute node and this is because its main responsibility is to configure the local switches so that the VMs um, have connectivity, connectivity. Uh, it also applies the security group rules, which are firewall rules, and it communicates all the time with the Neutron server uh, to get the configuration that needs to be applied uh, to the interfaces so that VMs are properly wired. So let's look more into details uh, at what happens when a VM is created. Um, so Nova Compute will issue a call to the Neutron server to allocate the network, uh, passing all the information needed by Neutron to configure the port correctly. Um, at the same time, it will um, call the VIF driver uh, to plug a tab interface into the integration bridge on the compute host. Uh, at that point, um, we have the um, L2 agent that is uh, basically constantly monitoring uh, interfaces, so it will realize that a new interface has been added uh, during the scan port function. And it will, since you know the L2 agent doesn't know anything about uh, the interface, it will ask the Neutron server for uh, the interface details, so get device details as the call and it will get from the Neutron server the configuration that needs to be applied uh, to the port. Uh, at that point, uh, the Neutron server will be able to actually bind the port uh, because uh, it will know uh, which uh, L2 agent, so which uh, compute host is actually hosting the, the VM. Uh, so it can you know, infer the association between uh, the Neutron port, the VM, and the compute node uh, where it is running. Um, then when the L2 agent configures uh, the interface, uh, when everything is done, it will issue a call to the Neutron server, uh, update device up to notify that the device is up and running. So we will see more in details uh, the, the L2 agent code. Um, anyway, uh, as regard the OVS agent, it basically handles three kinds of events. Uh, so the events that are related to uh, an update on the interfaces, so a, a new interface has been plugged or unplugged. Um, then the, the updates that are coming from the Neutron servers, uh, which are about you know port updates or security groups change, and then um, events that um, are about OpenVSwitch. So, for example, OpenVSwitch has restarted or uh, has died. So, let's look uh, into the code now. Um, this, is, uh, the, this is master, so it's the latest code. Um, and the file is of yes, Neutron Agent. So, the most important function is uh, RPC loop that it's uh, basically the loop that the agent is uh, constantly executing. Um, you'll see that um, you know this function is pretty uh, long. Let's try to look at the, the most important part. Mm, so here it's uh, the part where the OVS events are handled. Like you see that it will check if OVS has restarted and we do know that uh, so the OVS agent knows that OVS restarted because every time uh, the OVS agent starts it will install a canary flow uh, so that you know checking if the canary flow is still there will, will tell if uh, OpenVis which has restarted or not. Um, then of course the other event is you know if uh, OVS is, uh, has died. 
um, and then we have the you know the loop where the devices are actually configured and we see here that we enter the loop only if there's an update and an update uh, means that there's some change in the interfaces uh, or you know some port was updated deleted or something changed in the binding or something changed in the security group rules now if we look at the function is pulling required um, this is uh, the base class but actually this is the one that is used um, we see that basically this um, interface polling minimizer uh, it just uh, constantly uh, monitors the OVSDB to see if there's anything uh, new like an interface was added or removed and in that case you see here get events here we get all the events and then um, we just uh, notify the L2 agent that something has changed and so that he needs to go through the loop to configure the devices. So let's go back to RPC loop. And um, so if there's an update, it will enter this um, and will start configure the devices. Uh, the important function is process network port. This is where everything, um, you know, in terms of device configuration happens. Um, you see that, you know, we treat uh, device added and device removed. For device added, we uh, add the port tag info and we set up the security group and then we bind the device. And we keep track also of, you know, of the failed devices. If anything goes wrong, a device is put in the failed devices list so that um, it can, we can retry later to configure it. Um, then, you know, the same is done for the ancillary bridges. This, this is, for example, BRX or the other bridges that are connected to the physical network. And then at the end, you know, we just get the starts and the loop restarts. So this is it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.